good morning good morning students yesterday we took the topic of square and pythagorean triplet i hope that topics are clear to all of you today we will take next topic that is square root before we will go for the concept of the square root let's take the few concept before the symbol of square root is like this square root symbol is like this okay so if we have to find out the square root of a then we will write it inside the symbol now suppose that we have to find out the square root of 4 then we will write it like this square root of 9 we will write it inside the symbol of square root and like this we can write any number inside the square root to find out now before we will take the method of the square root let's see the previous knowledge once again you did it in your previous class 1 square equal 1 2 square equal 4 3 square equal 9 4 square equal 16 and like this you did 9 square equal 81 10 square equal 100 like this you can do it further also now with the help of this square we will try to find out the square root concept here answer is coming as 1 so square root of 1 is this number from here the square root of 4 will be 2 only square root of 9 will be 3 only and square root of 16 what it should be 4 only and same way square root of 81 will be 9 square root of 100 what it should be it is 10 if you will observe here the square root of even number is even square root of odd number is odd similarly e1 square root is e1 odd square root is odd e1 square root is e1 so students what does it imply then that is first point square root of an even number is always even square root of an odd number is always odd so i hope the starting of the square root is clear to all of you even square root is even answer odd square root is odd answer even square root is even answer now how to find out the square root of the bigger number by first method we will take it as repeated subtraction method 
With the help of this method, we can find out the square root of a number. So, before we will take the concept, I know that you must be knowing about odd number. Odd number from the very beginning, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and so on. These are the odd numbers from the beginning. So, to find out the square root of any number with the help of a repeated subtraction, let's take one example. Example is, let it be 16. Now, to find out the square root of 16, what we have to do? This number minus first odd number. It will come as 15. Now, take this 15 again. 15 minus second odd number. It will come as 12. Now, write 12 minus next odd number. It will come as 7. And 7 minus next odd number. That is 7. So, 7 minus 7 is 0. You have to do the subtraction of the odd number unless and until at the end you will get it as 0. Now, let's see what should be the square root of 16. Now, can you count how many times you did the subtraction? 1. 2, 3 and 4. So, you did the subtraction 4 times over here. So, the square root of 16 is 4. But remember that always you have to do the subtraction of odd numbers. Now, take one more example. Let it be 25. Now, to find out the square root of 25... Let's follow the same procedure. 25 minus 1, 24, 24 minus next odd number, 3, 21. Now take 21 minus 5, this is equals to 16. Now take 16 minus, what should be the next odd number? 7, yes, 9 and then 9 minus Next odd number is 9, so 0. Again you are getting it as 0. Now let's see what will be the square root of this number. Count how many times you did this subtraction. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5 times you did this subtraction here. Therefore square root of 25 will be 5. Take one more example. 49. Now, I think you must have understood how to do the repeated subtraction to get the square root. So, it will come as 48, 48 minus 3, 45, 45 minus 5, next odd number, 40, 40 minus 7, 33, 33 minus 9, 24, 24 minus what should be the next odd number after 9? It is 11. So it will come as 13, 13 minus next odd number will be 13. So 13 minus 13 that is again you are getting it 0. But be careful while doing the subtraction. Now, let's find out the square root of this. 49. Count it. Number of times you did this subtraction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, can you tell me what will be the square root of 49? Yes, it is 7. I hope... 
this repeated subtraction by taking the example you get it very well now before i will conclude this topic let me tell you one very interesting concept observe the odd numbers here add them together this is the very interesting thing i am going to tell you if you will add these odd numbers add them together you are getting it as 16 take next example add them together 1 plus 3 plus 5 say 1 plus 9 it is coming as 25 now take next example and add all the odd numbers together then 9 11 plus 13 if you will add all the odd numbers together you are getting it as 49 so what do you observe look here the odd numbers are coming twice sorry the odd numbers are coming four times then the four square is 16 here the odd numbers are coming five times so five square is 25 then here the odd numbers are coming 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 square is 49 so what do you observe this is 4 square this is 5 square and this is 7 square it means the number of times the odd numbers are coming consecutive odd numbers are coming its sum will be the number of times scale so it means from these examples we conclude that sum of first n odd numbers is n scale n scale sum of n odd numbers is n scale like here four numbers so four scale five numbers five scale seven numbers seven scale and this concept of sum of first n odd number as n scale is very beneficial for you for your competitive exams also i hope that this repeated subtraction method is clear to all of you now in next video we will take the method of prime factorization method thank you